3.2.17, we are going to differentiate y is equal to e to the p times parentheses p plus p square root p close parentheses. Product of two functions and exponential and power functions together, we must use product rule. So I will just label the first thing as f and the second thing as g like that, the entire parentheses. However, before I proceed, I have to take care of this part right here because p square root p, we have to do some change of the exponent business. p is just p, that's okay. But when you multiply with square root of p, you can look at square root as p to the one half power, right? So altogether, this is that p to the first times p to the one half, you add the exponents up together, this is p to the three half. It's almost always you look at the square root functions as exponents, like fraction exponents in calculus. So make that change first. All right, my function for f is e to the p. And my g function is equal to p right here. So this p right here, plus, instead of this thing right here, I'm going to write down p to the 3 half power. And of course, this way, if you look at this part, you have to use the product rule. But if you look at this part, you don't need to use the product rule. All right? So change the exponents and then add the exponents, combine terms together. So for this, the derivative of e to the p is just e to the p. The p once again, just like the x. And we're going to differentiate g. The derivative of g right here, the derivative of p right here is equal to 1. And p to the 3 half power well, we're just going to take the exponents, bring to the front, and then minus 1, right? The usual power rule. So I will get 1 for this, and plus 3 half in the front, p raised to the, when you do 3 half minus 1, it has 3 half minus 2, 2, 2 over 2, right? So you get positive 1 half like this. So once again, here is my ingredient we are ready to go for the product rule. So in this case, I'm just going to use y prime. Once again, dy dx and y prime, they are the same notation. So piercing sum now, take e to the p times that, and I'll put this in the parentheses. So I will have e to the p times one plus three half p to the one half power. And for product rule, you add when you pair this one and that together. And it's just a wrap up for the g, right? So you pair up, you get p plus p to the 3 half, okay, the red part, which is the original function, 3 half, times e to the p. And once again, here is the only calculus part. The rest is just algebra. And as we can see, we have e to the p in common here and here, so I can factor out the e to the p on the outside, and now that's drawing the left over, I have 1 plus 3 half p to the 1 half right here, and then for the second part, I have plus p plus p to the 3 half right here, right? And you can change the 1 half power to square root, or you can just leave it as how it is. And in fact, the answer of the back we change this to square root, so I will do that as well. So e to the p is still on the outside, and here I will get 1 plus 3 half p to the 1 half is square root of p, and here I have plus regular p right here, and plus, uh, let me work this out on the side so you guys can see it. So I just put down a little note on the side. p to the 3 half, this is the same as saying square root of p to the third power. And in this case, we can write this as p square root of p, right? So once again, and in fact, you can also look at this, this part. So p square root p is p to the 3 half. Of course, p to the 3 half is p times square root of p. So I just worked out the algebra carefully. And here we go. This is our answer.